We're gonna spread happiness. We're gonna spread freedom. Obama's gonna change it. Obama's gonna lead them. We're gonna change it and rearrange it. We're gonna change the world. So we now have over nine trillion dollars of debt that, that we are going to have to pay back thirty thousand dollars for every man woman and child that's irresponsible it's unpatriotic the national debt passed 18 trillion dollars this week and it's estimated that it could close at 20 trillion by the time president obama leaves office since his election in 2008 the debt has soared 70 percent despite tax increases all over the place on everything. These policies don't benefit us in any way. How is this going to help me, my future, or my family later on in life? I'm not going to say this is that your situation is your fault, but you did vote for policies which have reduced your generation into a very sorry state. But when you take a look at this generation, I think they're creative, they're engaged, and they absolutely have the discipline to go ahead and make it happen. I think the problem is the onus is not on them and the fault is not on them. It's on an economy that's not growing wide enough for these people to actually get work. You know, it was cool to be for Barack Obama, a young guy, black, you know, dynamic personality, wonderful family, he's so cool, he's a very... But you know, now I think a lot of young people are saying, wait a minute, you know, there's more to an electing a president than just a guy who's cool. Uh, you gotta have somebody who knows what they're doing, who can run a $3.6 trillion enterprise, who could put America back to work, who can provide jobs and incomes for families. That's where Barack Obama has struck out. No question he's cool. It's a question of whether you want somebody cool or whether you want somebody to manage the economy, get Americans back to work so that young people, when they graduate from college, they have a job.